In this video, I'm gonna take you on a journey completely outside of my comfort zone. I did not expect that at all. My girlfriend Laura and her parents invited me to come with them to a mountain hut. Now, I'm a guy that appreciates the comforts of modern society. I take a shower before bed every night, sometimes too. This bucket is our shower. I love my privacy, and I'm absolutely obsessive about my sleeping routine. This is gonna be my bed tonight. But where we're headed, if I can even make it up there, won't allow me any of those things. We are headed to sleep on top of a mountain. <laughs> the hike started in the Garmish area. Kids in the back eating breakfast. <laughs> Going up the mountain. And on the way, we passed the luxurious Schloss Elmau, which has held the G7 summit in Germany. It's where this famous picture of Obama and Merkel was taken. And it costs about a thousand euros a night to stay there. Maybe someday, Nalf. We are going to hike up the mountain here and stay at a mountain hut. This was our goal, the Myler Hut, at an elevation of 2,400 meters. The reviews on Google tell it all. Very exhausting, but if you are fit enough, extremely rewarding. Beautiful hut, which can unfortunately only be reached on an extremely strenuous path. It's very difficult to reach, and you should have mountaineering experience. You have to earn the view through a strenuous ascent. Uh, I don't think there's any running water. We're in for an adventure. See how I do in the mountains. <laughs> we started off on the adventure. We're gonna ask everybody, how many steps do we think that we're gonna get today walking up to the hut? 15,000 steps. 15,000, okay. 30,000. 30, whoa, okay. Three steps to heaven. Oh, oh nice, <laughs> there we go. I guess 21,000. We're getting surpassed by a bunch of people on e-bikes. They're beating us. We are, we are uh, doing a detour. Oh, cool. Okay. How are you done? I'm doing good. Take a little rest here, sit on this bench, rehydrate. We're looking at a beautiful view. We listen to the cowbells. Nice little rest in the mountains. Let's see how many steps so far. 8,299, only one and a half hours in. So I think Laura's prediction is gonna be wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Good try. How's it going? Good. You having fun? Yeah. These are my mountain tails. <laughs> mountain tails, looks good. These people behind us are catching us. We have to get away. Now my amateur hiking feet started to feel the effects early on. I'm finding the the first stages of blisters on my heels, but it's uh it's not so bad. It's just like the preliminary stages. I'll be crying about them later though. The hike was easy so far, but we were just getting started. In, in the middle of the mountains here, with this incredible wall behind me, we are about to climb it, free solo it, Alex Honnold style. So stay tuned for my climbing skills. A few hours into our journey, we made it to a property of King Ludwig II. Okay, we're going up there to King Ludwig's house, one of his many random properties that uh, he had built. Now, from the outside, this house looks kind of plain and boring, right? Well, just wait until you see the inside. It's crazy. By the way, guys, if you're a fan of our world's beautiful nature and think that we need to be proactive about protecting our ecosystems, stick around until the end of this video. I've got an important and inspiring message from my friends at Planet Wild that you do not want to miss. More on this once we get up to the hut. Before entering Ludwig's little yellow house, we stopped and ate a glorious mountain snack, and then got coffee. Yeah, we're gonna go in this little hut here and get warm, get a coffee, uh, recharge a little bit. By the way, this isn't the hut we're going to, this is just a little halfway hut. But what a view for a recharge and a coffee. So this is Ludwig's King's House, a building that was supposed to allow him to enjoy the high mountains while still having every comfort available. Now the downstairs is nothing special, but the upstairs of this house 
is wild. Ludwig had it made to look like an elaborate Turkish hall. He would even have servants dress up in oriental costumes to smoke hookah and drink teas up there to give him the full effect. The life of a king. Yeah, that is very absolutely shocking when you go upstairs in this house. Shocking. Highly recommend it. I did not expect that at all. It is uh, very surprising that this exists here in the Bavarian Alps. Okay, we came from here all the way up to here. We're now over right here. And then we gotta go up to here. And there we stay tonight. Here we go. Now at this point, the hike is getting serious. We are high up and the fog rolled in. They go all the way now up there in the clouds and that's where we will sleep. The blisters on my heels were developing quite aggressively, and the elevation ended up giving me a little bit of a hard time. I had a water bottle in my backpack, but it was carbonated water, and we kept increasing our elevation, and it uh, exploded in my backpack. So all my clothes and everything got soaking wet. So I had to put them on the that outside to try and dry it. We are getting high. We are up above the clouds. It's pretty awesome. But we pressed on. Through the fog, we couldn't see the hut, but I sensed that we were getting close. We're getting close. Almost there. Can't see anything. Pure clouds. The final ascent felt so far from where we had started. I was exhausted, sweaty, hungry, but happy. And then finally, through the fog, emerged our home for the night. <laughs> we made it to the hut. That was a long hike. But we made it. The hut was simple living. A room to dry your wet clothes. A kitchen and dining area. And up the spiral staircase, a sleeping room that we would share with 17 other strangers. I was in for an interesting night. Here's the room. It's more steeper than I thought. That's very interesting. This is going to be my bed tonight. Now, time to shower. Got it? <laughs> yeah. This bucket is our shower. So, we're about to shower. This is the Mountain Hut Life. So, this is sort of how you do it. Modern luxuries. We don't need them. <laughs> Laura's behind the camera is telling me to make sure I get under my arm. <laughs> the yeah. After getting cleaned up, if you could call it that, it was time for a well deserved German beer. And then dinner. And of course, Kaiser Schmarrn. We played a little Yahtzee to close out the night. And then it was time to figure out how to brush our teeth with no running water. And this is how you brush your teeth at the mountain hut. Bottle of water outside. After an eventful night of sleep, the next morning the fog cleared away and we were rewarded with a beautiful view. What an absolutely incredible experience hiking up and sleeping on top of a mountain. And you're probably wondering, how many steps did we get? Who won the guessing contest? Well, it ended up being about 25,000 steps with a huge elevation. So I was the closest. Way to go, Nalf. So guys, you just saw me enjoy some of the most beautiful aspects of our earth in the German Alps. Now I have a special recommendation for those of you that want to be proactive about protecting our earth and its ecosystems. Planet Wild is an environmental protection organization giving back to nature by funding ecosystem restoration work where it matters most. Now, Planet Wild is unique. They don't just show you a problem and leave you feeling hopeless, but they show you that we can all do something to restore our planet. And the best thing is you get to see firsthand in educational and entertaining videos how they work and what's the impact of the projects. 
Planet Wild's work is made possible through monthly subscriptions of a community that deeply cares about the Earth. Once you sign up, you become a part of this special community and you'll see projects that you and the community are financing and what collective impact you're making. After spending so much time in the beautiful German outdoors, I decided to become a member of Planet Wilds. If you find Planet Wilds work as important and inspiring as I do, please check them out and consider whether you'd want to support their work through a monthly subscription. In this video, Planet Wild is supporting the survival of the Eurasian lynx in the German forest hearts. And in this video, they're equipping civilian firefighters in Italy so that they can protect their land against wildfires. This is important work and you can be a part of making it happen. Now go check them out and see for yourself.